Damn, that's good. All right, my friends, welcome to the video. So we were just having some breakfast. Just made my daily normal smoothie. I wasn't gonna show you guys the whole process because I did that last video and the video before, but this is basically what I start my day with. Again, just to refresh your memory, we do have banana, blueberry, strawberry, strawberry flavored, plant a protein, we have some celery, we have some oatmeal, and we also have some cabolin and some Celtic sea salt. So it's been a staple of mine. I like having it first thing because it's like very easy for the body to break down and digest, and I'm going to train in a couple hours. So the time is currently 11.22 a.m. And this is meal number one. Ooh. And also I was thinking about just making like a separate video where it's just basically the smoothie recipe because uh, somebody recently just asked me, can I make a recipe for the smoothie? So I think I'll do that coming pretty soon. So that way, like if you guys wanted to know how to make the smoothie, the video itself is just there and you don't have to go searching through a video to find the recipe. So I will, uh, I will be working on that very soon. All right, my friends, we just arrived to the gym. And so typically people want to know like what time I do train at. So usually it's just a few hours after I have my smoothie and I like to train in between like 12.30 and three. That's like the sweet spot to go to the gym where it's not too busy. I'm missing the morning crowd and then I'm also like beating the like five o'clock rush hour, you know, people getting out of work, going to the gym. So I found that this time works best for me and I'm able to just get in my training session without like really having to like wait for machines or whatever. So uh, yeah, the time is currently 12.53. So let's go get in this session. So the first movement is going to be some incline dumbbell presses with a neutral grip. So I'm just gonna do a couple warm up sets before I actually hit my work sets. And also I'm gonna train antagonist muscle group. So I'm gonna do a chest movement with a pulling movement so like a back movement so let's uh let's get it all right guys welcome to the workout so the first movement is going to be some neutral grip incline dumbbell presses again i really like pressing with the neutral grip because it saves your shoulders you know if you really press with your elbows flared out it puts a lot of stress on the shoulder joint so we did four sets of eight to ten reps here and then we're going to rest for about 90 seconds and then do some bent over dumbbell rows All right guys, so next movement is gonna be the back squat. So we're gonna do three sets of five reps.
And so here's how the physique is currently looking. So this morning we were a body weight of 199 pounds. So again, as I am increasing calories, you know, I should start to fill out more. But yeah, as I was tracking intuitively, it was just like I kept kind of getting flatter and flatter. So as the calories go up and the carbohydrates go up, we should fill out more. Strength should be back on the rise. And yeah, so not too bad. All right, my friends, that was a solid workout. I felt really good. And yeah, that was a, a great workout. And then post-workout, after I did my posing, or just that little physique update, I did go in the sauna for 20 minutes, and then just like rinsed off quickly in the shower. And then went to Walmart, I got myself a coconut water to rehydrate. I drank this whole thing. Um, yeah, so it is 45 calories, four servings, that is 180 calories, so we got some carbohydrates in there. Post-workout, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. I really do not feel like cooking. I just walked through Walmart and I was like, oh, what can I cook? And I'm like, you know what? I don't even, uh, I'm not gonna cook. I don't feel like it. So I wanted to get Pad Thai, but the place that I like to get it from doesn't open till 5 p.m. and it is 3.48 p.m. So we got some figuring out to do. I may get like a public sub, but I kind of want like a big bowl of like beef and rice or like, I don't know. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but I'll be back <laughs> very soon, guys. All right, so we are finally back home. It is 4, 16 p.m. and we finally have our meal. We did go to Publix because, like, you know, it's quick, it's easy, and it's pretty damn good. So this sub is massive. So I did go with the Pub Ultimate. This is the one I usually get. So I got the whole, and so you guys can see. So inside the sub, we do have ham, we have turkey, we have roast beef, we have Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, banana peppers, black olives, mustard, jalapenos, pickles, oil and vinegar, salt and pepper, oregano. This thing is the ultimate. I'm excited to eat this thing right now. <laughs> it's no pad thai, but it'll do. All right, cheers my friends. Oh, there's also green pepper in there too, if I didn't mention that. But yeah, this stub is stacked. Loaded with veggies. Yeah, this thing's amazing. Oh, and cucumbers too, by the way. Yeah, so this sub is about 800 and 60 calories. So I kind of started like trying to track on the days that I train so I can make sure I get in my nutrition. Because seriously, if I just eat intuitively, I don't eat enough. Like I kind of have to kind of force feed a little bit just to get the calories up. Funny, the first time I ever saw like a public sub is when I was watching Devon from Beast Aesthetics. I think it was like 2015, around when I first started filming YouTube. So I watched his videos all the time and uh, it was actually really cool to meet him in person, train with him, super cool kid. And uh, yeah, he would always get like, he'd always go to Publix and I'm like, what is this grocery store? So. I'm super thankful to be able to have a Publix right up the street from my house because these subs, they're seriously amazing. All right, and now on to the second half. I know it's not donuts, it's just a sub, but it's a really good sub. Solid sub. Last bite, my friends. Ah, 
All right. So let's see where we are for calories so far for the day. Because we gotta get those calories in because I wanna recover optimally from my training and I want to continue to progress. You know, since I was just doing intuitive eating, I'm just kind of saying, oh, whatever, you know, I'm just trying it out. Strength did start to go down. And, you know, I wasn't training as frequently, so I definitely noticed a dip. But now that we're going to be consistently increasing the cows or consistently trying to hit like somewhat of a goal, I'm still gonna be very flexible though. We are currently at 1,863 calories. So yeah, I'll figure out what I'm gonna eat next and I'll be back very shortly. All right, my friends, we are back, 5.22 p.m. So just chefed up a meal. We do have some basmati rice, we have black beans, we have some chicken thighs, three whole eggs, and some salsa on top. Let's see if you can get a little close-up of that. Check it out, it's looking pretty tasty. And then we also do have a raspberry swirl flavored skinny cheesecake. These things are amazing, great for dessert. And also, check this out. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway pretty soon, so stay tuned. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm going to announce it. So it's gonna be like a skinny cheesecake giveaway. So we get some uh, Team Big Bite spoons made. And also I do have this Team Big Bite spoon that I'm going to use to eat this meal right here. This thing's pretty massive. Ooh, oops. That rice and bean combination is just simple yet so good. I almost wanted to make like burritos when I was walking through Walmart, when I got that coconut water, I was like, I kinda wanna make like some, maybe like breakfast burritos or something. And then I was like, man, I don't wanna cook. But we ended up cooking. I should've just picked up some tortillas, but oh well. Man, chicken thighs are so much tastier than chicken breast. Chicken thighs have so much flavor. This spoon is seriously like perfect. Perfecto. It's giving me the most satisfying bites right now. See, I can really load it up on there. Oh yeah, I'm getting kind of full. Hmm. Yeah, see, when I was eating intuitively, I just stopped eating and I'd just be like, all right, I'm good. And yeah, I did lose like a lot of weight, but I'm definitely trying to get the calories in again to recover from my training and just even to stay like full, you know, like when my carbs are like lower than 400, I just kind of like flatten out a bit. Mm -mm -mm. Muy bueno. Okay. And now. Save the best for last. Skinny cheesecakes, raspberry swirl. So we are looking at 210 calories, 11 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbohydrates, and 10 grams of protein. So yeah, it doesn't look massive, but they're pretty filling. Solid. 
mm, that like crack a crust on the bottom, it's phenomenal. Every time we taste that, I smile. <laughs> it's seriously fantastic. And so if you guys wanted to try out these skinny cheesecakes, I'll leave the link down below. And you could also save 10% with the code Team Big Bites. And definitely be sure to look out for the giveaway coming soon. It will be on Instagram. <sighs> Alright my friends, so that's basically an update of how my physique is looking, how my training is going, and how my nutrition is. So I did take a long break from you know tracking macros and tracking calories. And I have to say it's been amazing just to have that mental freedom but in order for me to have the most optimal performance i'm going to have to get in a specific amount of calories or macros i'm not saying that i'm going to consistently track macros every single day but i'm going to try to be more aware of how much i'm consuming and like on the days where i'm not really tracking i'm going to make the effort to consume a little more and just you know sometimes you're going to kind of get a little uncomfortable if say you're bulking. For instance, when I was on my bulk, I had to literally force feed to support my calorie demands and to be able to keep on growing and getting stronger. I'm not saying that I'm bulking right now, but I'm definitely saying that I need more calories. So again, it's been super fun, like eating intuitively, but yeah, I'm going to be tracking on some days, but my total nutrition for today was 3,164 calories, 90 grams of fat, 420 grams of carbohydrates, and 202 grams of protein. Now that's a pretty solid intake for me. You know, on days where I'm more active, say if I'm skating, I'm gonna need up to like 35, 3,600 calories. So I'm just gonna kinda be a little more aware of like what I'm putting in. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comment section down below. And yeah, much love guys. I appreciate all the love and the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.